Hi friends! This is a perfect practice to gently open up and release tension in the hips as well as the lower back. And we'll start lying down, so just getting comfortable lying flat on your mat. And use both hands to gently pull your right knee in towards your chest. Just hugging that knee in, keeping your left leg extended out. And slowing the breath down, taking big deep breaths throughout your entire practice, allowing your body to release tension and your mind to slow down. Now bring your left hand down to your left hip, using your right hand holding onto that knee to open your leg out to the side, getting a gentle stretch in the inner part of the thigh and the groin. Breathing here. Bring your knee back to center and grabbing onto your leg with your left hand, using it to guide the leg across the body, coming into a gentle twist. Slowly bring your knee back to center and then curling the left knee into your chest to meet your right and then extending your right leg out flat on the mat so you're pulling that left knee in towards your chest. Now place your right hand to your hip, using your left hand to hold onto the knee, opening the leg out to the side. So you're opening up the hips, getting the stretch in the inner thigh. Gently bring your knee back through center and then holding on to the knee with your right hand, using your hand to guide the knee across the body, coming into a twist. And really use your breath to relax here, softening more into the twist with each exhalation. slowly coming back to center, hugging both knees into your chest, giving yourself a little hug, wrapping your arms around you, really flattening your back into the mat. Release your knees, placing both feet flat on the mat, about hip width apart, and extend your right leg into the air, flexing your foot like you're pressing it into the ceiling, and then crossing your ankle over your left thigh, creating a figure four. And really trying to press your right knee away from the body, opening up the hip. And if this is enough of a stretch, you can stay just like this. Or you can start to invite your left thigh in towards your body, clasping your hands around your left thigh, pulling it a little bit closer. And connecting with your breath, sending it into your hips as you feel the tension melt away.
and then bring your left foot back down to the mat, uncrossing that right ankle so you can get both feet flat, and then reaching that left foot up towards the sky, flexing the foot, and then crossing your ankle over the right thigh, creating that figure four, pressing the knee away from the body, You can stay just like this if it feels good, or you can start to invite that right thigh in towards the body, pulling the left shin a bit closer to you, and then wrapping your hands around your right thigh and keeping both feet flexed and active while you're in this position. you can release your thigh, placing both feet flat on the mat, and then making your way up to a seated position, however is most comfortable for you to get there. And bring the soles of your feet together for this butterfly position, really pressing your knees down towards the floor, and you can hold on to your ankles or maybe your feet, and sitting up tall, lengthening through the spine. Inhale here. And then exhale, hinging from your hips, begin to forward fold, bringing your chest towards your feet. And just going as far as feels comfortable. You might not have to go too far for this one, just until you start to feel a gentle stretch in your inner thighs, maybe even your back. And just really noticing any sensations of where you might be feeling the stretch at the most. And sending your breath there to create space. Slowly make your way back up, pressing your knees together and coming onto your hands and knees in a tabletop position, trying to stack your shoulders over your wrists and your hips over your knees. And keeping your knee bent, extend your right leg out towards the side about waist level if you can and begin making circles with the leg. It doesn't matter if you move clockwise or counterclockwise, we'll go both directions. So just make your circles as big or as small as you'd like. And now change directions, beginning to make circles going the other way with your leg. After you finish this next circle, go ahead and lower your knee back down to the mat to switch sides, extending your left knee out to the side and making circles with the leg, making your circles as big or as small as you'd like. And then switch directions, making circles going the other way. Then lower your knee back down to the mat to reset in this tabletop position. And then bringing your right foot to the top of the mat to meet your hands. And we'll be preparing for lizard, so get both hands on the inside of your foot. And you might need to scooch that right foot up and out a bit more to create some space. And you can stay here and lizard on your palms. Or you can begin to lower down to your forearms. Finding whichever variation feels best in your body today.
And if you are on your forearms, slowly make your way back up. Preparing for pigeon pose, so you can bring that right shin behind your hands. So your foot is behind your left wrist, your knee is behind your right wrist. And you can sit up tall here, lengthening through the spine. Or you can begin to walk your hands out, extending your arms out in front of you, lowering your chest down, coming into sleeping pigeon. And again, just finding what works best for your body here. slowly press yourself back up coming back to all fours in a tabletop position so we can reset and do the other side so whenever you're ready taking your time getting there however is most comfortable bring your left foot to the top of the mat to meet your hands bring both hands to the inside of your foot and you can stay here really lengthening through the spine lifting your chest with your palms on the ground or you can begin to come down onto your forearms, letting your head hang down in this lizard variation. And gently pressing yourself back up so we can transition to pigeon pose getting your left shin behind your hands and that knee should be behind your left wrist and your foot behind your right wrist or at least close and you can stay here lifting your chest up pressing your hips in towards the mat or you can start to extend your arms out in front of you coming into sleeping pigeon coming back up so we can transition back to tabletop pose resetting getting onto all fours and then crossing at the ankles rolling back to a seated position and just momentarily coming to your seat so you can transition to lie back so just getting comfortable lying flat on the mat and then we'll be coming into half happy baby so you can begin to pull that right knee in towards your chest and grab onto the inside of your foot or your ankle and pulling that knee in towards your armpit, stacking your ankle over your knee. It doesn't have to come super close to your armpit. You're just sending it in that direction and really sending your breath into this right hip. And then you can slowly release that right foot, extending that leg out all the way. And then pulling the left knee in towards the chest, grabbing onto the inside of the foot or your ankle. And pulling your knee in towards your armpit, stacking your ankle over your knee. Doing half happy baby on this side. And sending your breath into the left side.
and release that foot, pulling both knees back in towards your chest, holding on to your legs, giving yourself another little hug, and just taking a moment to flatten your back into the mat. And then coming in for the full expression of happy baby, grabbing onto the inside of your feet or your ankles and reaching those feet up towards the sky, sending your knees in towards your armpits. And you can stay still here or you can rock side to side, just doing whatever feels good. releasing, hugging both knees back into your chest once again, and then letting both feet come down to the mat and bring the soles of your feet together, letting your knees splay out open in a butterfly position. And you can have your arms down by your sides, or maybe you want to reach them up overhead, clasping opposite forearms or wrist, and bringing your attention back to your breath feeling your knees drop closer to the floor as your hips melt open. And you can stay like this with the soles of your feet together for as long as it feels good. But if it starts to feel like too much work, you can just extend both legs out flat on the mat, coming into Shavasana, the most important pose of any practice. So close your eyes down, returning back to your breath. And just take a few moments here to notice the space you've created in the physical body as you opened up your hips with movement and the breath and noticing all that space you've created emotionally as well. The hips are known as the emotional junk drawer where many of us store emotions and trauma. So if any feelings arise, know that it's normal you're safe, you're just releasing. It's time to let it all go. And you can stay here for as long as you'd like, but I will be leaving you here today. Thank you so much for practicing with me. I hope to see you again soon. Namaste.